right and Paul Joey here from the West Train. Please help. Triplets. Anyway, they have a set of triplets, two of which are known to be genetically identical. And they were separated at birth and brought up under very different circumstances. So clearly these three little babas all went to different families. At the age of 23, the following data is recorded. Now, before we do anything, just I want you to think about this. When you have multiple uh, um, uh, 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 fusions, okay, an ovary can release both. Uh, normally, one ovary releases an egg, and then the next uh, next month, the other ovary releases an egg. Sometimes, two ovaries, both ovaries, release an egg cell. Okay. Now, if both those egg cells get fertilized, they are going to be in the same uterus, but in their own amniotic bags. Okay. And the babies then grow, and they are unidentical twins. But what happened here is that you had the one and the other, and this little one, or this one, one of the eggs that was fertilized, so the zygote, then decided to split. And that's why you have identical twins. So you can have the three babies, two identical twins would be in one amniotic bag, and the other one, okay. But they are carried in the same uterus. But remember, they're going to have different gametes that make them up. Okay, so let's look at our question. Where are my glasses? Right, got the glasses. Let's ready to boogie. We have got our traits. So we've got Tom, Dick, and Harry. Now height, remember height is a multiple, uh, you have as, as multiple alleles. And it is a bit of an indicator, but not sure. Weight, well weight depends on your living and your habits. Okay, um, how much sport you do, um, how active you are, if you're a couch potato versus a, a, a rugby player or a hockey player, um, what food you eat, if you eat a lot of nonsense or if you eat um, proper, healthy, good food. So weight, you can't use weight as an indicator, okay? So weight is not a good indicator. How, uh, height, maybe. Blood type, here we go, people. Blood type is also a multiple allele. And I'm telling you now as well, if, I've got a, if I'm a betting person, I would put 50 bucks that you're going to get a blood type question in the exam. But that's just me. I'm just guessing. Okay, so there's 50 bucks and we had 100 bucks in the other question. So, yeah, I think I'm going to be making lots of money. Now, look here. We've got blood type O, we've got blood type AB, and we've got blood type O. If these kids are identical twins, they are going to have the same blood type. So look no further. Here we go. Tom plus Harry. And that's my boys. There they go. Those are our twins. This dick is the other little kid. IQ, people, IQ really, it depends on how you were raised, what you were taught, what you were exposed to. So that is not an indicator. So which two boys? It was Tom and Harry. Okay, why? Well, and I mean, I can see here the reason both yo, have, I must write slower, have blood type O. Okay. If the three boys were reunited, okay, and attempted to locate their parents, what, is, what would the only possible blood types be for each of the parents? Okay. People, I want you to look at this, okay? You need to understand that. I'm going to write here, the parents are blood type A and blood type B. How do I know this? Because of little dick in the middle here, okay? Parents had to have allele for blood type A and blood type B, and I'm going to explain this to you, and I want you to listen very carefully, because I'm telling you now, I've got my 50 bucks on the plate, this is what's going to happen, and this is why, okay? Let's write why. How do we know this? First of all, we've got two sons of blood type O. We've got one son, blood type AB, okay? We have three alleles for blood types. Okay, three. Okay, we have 
blood type A, we have blood type B, and we have blood type O. Now you must remember, A and B are co-dominant. Okay? And for this O, we have to have two recessive alleles. So, what are we going to have? We've always got, so this is recessive. So, in order for blood type O, we are going to need two recessive alleles. But for this, we can have A and O. We can have A, so two alleles for A. We can have B and we can have um, B and B. And we can have A and B. And there are our different blood types. So this would give us blood type O, this gives us blood type A, this gives us blood type A, that gives us blood type A. So th this one will give us B, sorry, B. This gives us B and this one gives us AB. So I'm just finishing off here quickly. So what do we have? That means that the parents, they had, remember, two boys that were O. So therefore the parents are A and B. These two went to making Tom and Harry and these two went to making Dick. Okay.